It is election eve in Nigeria with all eyes, particularly from the tech ecosystem on the Independent National Electoral Commission. Uh, here is uh, one. Here is a quote from Steers. We have our Steers quote. It was talking about the fact that Nigerians are providing everything for the... Yeah, there it is. After decades of adapting to a bring-your-own infrastructure, that's BYOI, a BYOI model across Nigeria. That's like providing your own water, electricity, security. Nigerians have now begun collating their own election results. Now, one such initiative is Collate Africa, a website designed to collate polling unit results. The site seeks to quote help Nigeria have free elections by submitting the results from your polling unit. Uh, joining us to discuss the software is uh, Oo Owe, who is a co-founder of Collate Africa. Oh, thanks so much uh, for joining us. Good morning to you. So here's the obvious yeah, question. Good morning, Rotus. Great, great to have you. So here's the obvious question. Um, what inspired you to build this? <laughs> well, um, then solving problems you said it um nigerians have always solved their own problems um we complain but sometimes some of us go and solve the problems now um the reality is elections people that had voted from 2003 or 1999 had noticed a an obvious flaw in the nigerian elections right um the polling elections at the polling unit level most times were free and fair but somehow the, when they went up the ladder, being computed from the ward to the local government, the numbers changed. Then somehow, thankfully, a bill was signed into law that allowed um, the election results to go directly from the polling units level straight to the headquarters. No interference. Perfect. Everyone was happy. Everyone was excited. Uh, the system was tested in Oshun State. In those state elections, we're good to go. Um, on February 25th, every Nigerian from across the world um, came, voted, and went back home. Um, in the evening, though, some of us that waited behind at our polling units, they're hearing stories that, hey, it couldn't upload. The internet is not working. So I think the biggest mistake that happened in the last election, the singular biggest mistake that happened in the last election was trusting, trusting that it will be free and fair. So um, when, when, we, when we, we, we got to see that we had been played, uh, we had to just try to fix our own problems, which is the fact that Nigerians know the results at the polling units, they have that evidence. However, that evidence wasn't transmitted as the law, um, the law required. Um, so we decided to do something in addition to ensure that there was a parallel um, initiative that allowed people to upload the results from their polling units from across the 170 plus thousand polling units so that anyone can see the results as at when due. There was a big gap during um, the coalition announcements um, that was the coalition where I think it was Dino Melai and a few others were trying to interrupt the proceedings. Um, the good thing is this, obviously because it always talks about ev empirical evidence. Um, so the, 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 what was missing when they were trying to interrupt was that there was no evidence. So you say that, hey, in this local government we scored 50, why are you announcing five? Anyone can say that, but if they had proof, um, the form, um, if they had from the form EC8A to show that, hey, look at, I have a replica of the form, then maybe that it would have, maybe it would have helped them. But unfortunately, people didn't have that collation. They didn't have it with them. So I'm hoping that with Collate dot Africa. Um, once the elections are over, once the announcements have been made, people take pictures, and even before the collation happens at the collation centers, every agent from every party will still would have their evidence very organized in the palm of their hands. How do you correct for people, two different people, maybe you and I, I say you and I at the same polling units, and we're using Collate Africa, and... You know, I put in the wrong information. We have the polling unit announces the, the results. We have to because INEC is constitutionally bound to do this, so they are the ones where all the data is going to be. Everyone, all media houses, everyone is going to be using INEC data, right? But what if I put up the wrong information and you put what well, we put different information? You and I are the same polling unit, so how do you correct for incorrect information, either maliciously done or accidentally? 
the good thing about Colette is that um, no one person owns the truth. Yeah. So, but the the reality is that people do. Um, Nigerians are not bad actors. If not, we would not have a society. So we would always have the bad actors in the minority. So if there are thirty results, if that if thirty people upload results from the polling unit, and two people are having. Again, the people that are putting fake results would have different fake results. And if there are 30 um, um, results posted from the polling units and 28 are saying um, a party scored 10 and another two are saying a party scored 100, I think there's a high likelihood that we should investigate. So the, I, the objective of Colette, unfortunately or Perhaps fortunately, we do not have the authority to say this is right, but it optimizes from tra for transparency. So everyone sees that 28 people say that the score was 10, and another person says the score was 100. Then we have to really investigate. So that's the main objective, to create transparency in the process. That's what, what IREF was supposed to do for to us, do. transparency. Mm. It, wasn't, it wasn't clear that it would be accurate, but should be, that it, was, it was promised that it would be transparent. Gotcha, gotcha. What about cyber attacks um, that manipulate the, the result? It's a website. Websites are what about what about security? Um, we have taken. We have a very strong team. My um, my co-creator. Um, it's not a company, so I won't say co-founder. My co-creator, uh, Ozo Mosigo, has probably twenty years or more uh, top-level experience alongside the team. Um, we're using um, cloud infrastructure. We have taken all security precaution. Um, nothing is infallible, like I said. Uh, but the good thing about Colette is that you would know if you if you register Colette.Africa, You register. You upload the results. On that day, you would see there's, there's going to be a collate.africa slash results page. So if you upload the results, you go online and you see the same thing. If you don't see the same thing, then something would have happened. So that's the good thing about transparency. You can actually test it. So if you put in number five and you go, up, you go and see number five, then you have confidence that any number you're seeing there is, from an, um, is, is the accurate number that was put in there. Mm. Um, okay, so for this to work, I mean, it would require uniform efforts, right? I mean, everyone voting in every polling unit would have to upload results to be able to compare uh, or, you know, uh, ch check over from oversight on what INEC is reporting from IREV. Is that right? Exactly. So the single most important thing any voter that cares about transparent and fair elections is to just go to collate.africa and register themselves at their polling units and on that day upload the results and enter the numbers as, as fairly as possible. Um, by the end of today, we should have collate.com slash coverage to see where we have people registered and where we have people not registered. And one of the good things about Collate is the fact that Again, we are 100% agnostic, right? Um, fair elections, transparent elections favor everyone or should favor everyone. So that what we have now done, so like you had pointed out, multiple people can upload in the polling units, but some campaign organizations, be it um, PDP, APC, LP, NNPP, ADA, um, AD or Accord Part A uh, party, um, they can use Collate for their own um, agents only. So when they go to the website, they can see the results that agents have posted alone. Uh, you know, so instead of going to the website and seeing a hundred results from a polling unit, you can just put in your special code, and um, you would see the results from your agents. And again, the good thing about w the way we built Collect is the fact that before the election, you would be able to see where you have coverage. Uh, most of the solutions that we have had, which again, it's, 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 it's big kudos to anybody that has built anything, so I'm not trying to be critical of their own efforts. But the only cha the main challenge was that it depended, it, it, it depended dead on you on that day, people just knowing about it. So you couldn't know before time if there were, you had agents in a particular local government, maybe either a Kurudu or, um, or Njikoka local government, for instance. You didn't know if you had agents there. But now, before the elections, when you go to collate.com slash coverage, you will see, wait, hold on. I thought I had someone covering in Jukoka. There's nobody there. I have people in Dunukofia, if they do know, and all those other places. Uh, but I have nobody in this in this particular area. So before the elections, you could plan. So I would just admonish or request, beg, ask, plead, 
um, that everyone go register your polling units and just get ready to have transparent elections. I don't think anybody should be worried about transparent elections because we want to know that the the um, the choice of Nigerians uh, uh, is head. All right. So again, INEC again is backed by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, we want to just make be clear that players in Nigeria's tech ecosystem are, are not saying that. Well, are not using the private sector to say they're trying to you know surmount what INEC is doing. INEC, of course, you just want to make it clear they are still the body that is putting out the official results. That's what everybody else is depending on. What you're doing here is just to make sure the numbers tally. Is that right? We just want to make that clear for our viewers. Just actually, just transparency. You know, we had um, we had uh, two weeks of IMEC, uh, Independent Mac SN Commission, that was <laughs> actually recounting um, the results. Very, very, very wonderful initiative. Counted almost 150,000 plus polling units, re added it. Now, I don't want to make any accusations, but some states, the numbers directly on IREV didn't tally with what they were announced. So it uses it used data from IREV to do it. So if we had a replica, but unfortunately, before all the total came out, um, um, they had already announced um, um, the elections. So if we had a collate, then a Mark Essien could have done the aggregation before the announcement, and there will be proof and basis to say, hold, um, in, the, in the words of a, a famous president from the United States, they could have said, stop the count, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, but, um, but now we're hoping that we'll have the numbers or the evidence. We are not going to announce a winner. We're not going to announce that a party scored this. We do not have the... Um, we do not have the authority, but at least people will be able to go online, see what is plausible, and be able to have the evidence that they can use to cha make challenges if they think that um, what is being announced or what is being computed is inaccurate. All right, uh, real quick, we're, we're, we're out of time. Are you confident that uh, INEC will perform this time around and uh, you know, give us a free and fair election? You see, um, I think the biggest mistake we made again, I said on the 20, uh, on 25th of February, was trusting. You see, there's a famous quote that says, trust but verify. So, well, I won't be trusting, right? <laughs> but I'll be making sure that I'll be collating. Oh, yeah, hey, co founder, Collate Africa. It's amazing what the tech space is doing in just a short amount of time. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much, Rotus, and I'm always available.